I'm Andrew Norman Sal. You know the rest. coins for this Rachel, uh, but a few right here, uh, that's, that'll be perfect. Uh, I'm going to hand you this pen, I'm going to have your initial, uh, the uh, kind of, uh, somewhat like this, I'll put my initials on there as well, and you can put yours right on there, fantastic, and if you can draw a diagram, of some, well it doesn't matter, it's okay, just leave it, that'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be a bit uh, tricky. It will indeed, I'm going to leave it centre stage right about here, and uh, I'm going to show you a mystery using some matches. In fact, I'll need three for this. There's one, there's two, and three. I'm going to try and surround the coin with the matches, forming a triangle somewhat like this. Now, there's no way that the coin can go through the table because the table is solid. There's no way it can sort of move beyond the matches without the matches moving. There's no way upwards. If I were to be covering it with a business card somewhat like this, there's no way that coin could move without you seeing it. Just to make it even more difficult, more secure, I'm going to cover it with the matchbox. Now, can you lend me your hand for a second? Good. Hold it about an inch above the box. I was going to say, if that's an inch, I've got no problem. <laughs> Good. Can you kind of cast a shadow? Because this is a bit like the Bermuda Triangle triangle being formed by the matches. You should feel a sort of a tingling sensation. Can you feel that? You're crazy than me. <laughs> yeah, In fact, that's when it usually happens. Just lift it with your hand for me. You'll find incredibly, if we lift it all up, the coins actually vanish, which is unbelievable, isn't it? It's not on the back of the business card, by the way. If you undo the box, inside there you'll see there are some coins. Uh, one of them signed, of course. And if that happened to be your initials on there. That would be a miracle, wouldn't it? <laughs>